y'all and welcome to today's video. We are going to be getting ready together. I have a lot of things to do today. I'm going to put on some makeup and I have some new products. I have the Legend of Cora collection from ColourPop, the Liquid Multichromes, some bronzers. I also bought from Sephora the Guerlain Skin Tint, Terracotta Le Tint. I bought an Urban Decay eyeliner. I have some Kiss Lashes. I have my Singe Beauty brushes. We're gonna get ready. I have Half Magic. I'm like, I have so much makeup here in front of me. We're gonna put it all on. We're gonna have a good time together. Let's jump into it. <music> push my hair out of my face. I'm going to zoom y'all in in just a second, but I wanted to show you where is the scent. I also bought from Sephora this new Fleur scent. I just bought the sample size. It's the Solar Power scent from Fleur. And this, this is their like sample or travel size. I bought this since I couldn't smell this in store. I've been wearing it the past couple days. And I'm really liking it so far. This is a floral fragrance. The top notes are Italian red mandarin, sun-drenched bergamot, jasmine absolute. Then at the heart, there is neroli and orange flower. The base is a driftwood, solar musk, and sea salt. I will say wearing this, I definitely get that citrusy feeling with that floral undertone. So I can totally smell the Italian red mandarin when I put this on. And then I feel like as it wears, I definitely get the orange flower and the neroli and the driftwood come through the most. I'm glad I bought this size too. I think it's really nice when brands offer these sizes so that you know, I can buy it, not be out a crazy amount of money, test it out, know if I like it enough for the full size. So I did want to mention that, but now hair's out of the way. Let me zoom y'all in and we'll put on some makeup. Okay, so I'm going to start with my one size Secure the Sweat Dry Till Dawn Primer. I've used this primer a few times now and I still notice the scent. I posted a video a few days ago, earlier this week, maybe. And I talked about how it has like this slight scent to it that I don't like, but I'm guessing that's because they didn't add fragrance. I'm probably just smelling the ingredients of the primer, but I think it's nice. It's definitely not completely mattifying, but I do feel like it kind of gives me a little bit of a matte appearance. My makeup seems to wear really well on top of it and it does seem like it helps my makeup last a bit. I do have oily skin. I always think it's important to talk about skin type and climate when trying new complexion products. So I have oily skin. I'm 35 and I live in a very humid place that for the most part stays pretty warm. So it may surprise you that I bought the Guerlain foundation. I had kind of talked myself out of it because I'm looking here at Sephora and when I saw it, it says it has argon oil for hydration up to 24 hours. And it also has gym, gym tone. It's a self adaptable shimmer that helps foundation adjust to all skin tones. But I couldn't stop thinking. I'm like, Ugh. so the curiosity got the best of me. I thought, you know what? If I'm curious about it, maybe y'all are curious about it. I'll just buy it, see what I think. It says it's a liquid to powder foundation with 24 hour wear, medium coverage, no transfer finish for a beautiful, healthy looking glow and a luminous matte finish. Usually when I see the words luminous matte, that means it's going to be a natural finish on me. Now I bought the shade 4W and it is a little warm. This is, um, something that I've worn a few times now. If you watched my judging new makeup video, I was wearing it in that video and I've worn it a few times and really liked it, but it's a bit warm. So I'm going to add a little bit of green color corrector. That way I can blend it in with this foundation. And when you're mixing your foundations, it's kind of a trust the process type of thing. 
I think this is worn really beautifully on me though. I haven't got to wear it enough yet. I'm definitely not ready to review it because the longest I've worn this is about 10 hours and I really just need to put my foundations to the test over more days and definitely wear it for longer periods of time before I can review it. But I did want to show you kind of me applying it, how it goes on the skin, how it looks, all of that. I've used it with this primer from One Size and I've also used it with my Milk Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer and I really liked it best with this mattifying primer. So I want to try it again with this one size primer and see how it wears because I've got a lot going on today. I'm going to be mostly gone from the house. So it'll be a good day to kind of put this foundation to the test. I'm just pressing this into the skin with my sugar drizzle sponge. Okay, so here is what the Girl On looks like on my skin. I think it looks really pretty. I think it's a beautiful medium coverage. It definitely has glow to it, but also like in a very skin-like way. I think it looks so pretty. So, so far, so good with this one. Again, I'll follow up for sure and tell you in the future like how it wears, all of that. Um, because it's definitely different for me with it having that argon oil. I want to see over the next few weeks if I really, really like this foundation, how it wears. We're going to have some really warm, sunny days coming up. So I want to wear it outside when I'm going to be outside a lot, things like that. But I'm just adding some Huda Beauty concealer right now. This is a favorite of mine nothing new and I'm just going to press this into my skin and I'm going to set it down with my Huda powder. I know it can get boring to watch like the same things over and over again so I'm just using the Huda concealer, the Huda powder and then I'm gonna finish and like buff in the skin with my Kosas cloud set powder and I'll come back because I want to try these ColourPop bronzers with y'all. I really like the ColourPop pressed blushes. I really love their Super Shock highlighters. And I had only tried, I think, one of their bronzers and the tone wasn't right for me. So I'm excited to try these two. We're going to try these two together. I have, uh, oh, this one's falling out of the pan. This is Pacific Beach and Summerland Beach. I thought maybe we would try both of these and kind of see how they look but let me get this concealer pressed in let me set my face with powder and i'll be right back okay a face is set with powder i like the way the foundation is looking with the powder too i always set my face with powder hello oily skin and it's it's held up so super well for me so i'm excited about it let's go in with this lighter bronzer first this is summerland beach ColourPop sent me some of their new pressed single complexion products. So I'm going to pick this up on my unearthly brush. I really like these orange complexion brushes. I think they're so good. And I want to kind of layer our bronzers today. So I'm using this one that's really, really pretty. It's just a little bit deeper than my skin tone so it works really pretty as like a subtle bronzer and I'm using this larger brush just kind of pressing this in blending up on the forehead down to the cheeks a little bit on the nose where the sun would hit I think that looks pretty but I want to maybe define a little bit more and try the deeper shade so I'm going to not pick up as much product on my brush. Let me see, are these pans magnetic? There we go, I just popped it back down in there. But I'm gonna take the same brush, but I'm not gonna pick up as much. I'm just gonna press it like that. And then I'm not going to be as like all over blending with this deeper shade. So I'm just going to more so press it in to give a little more definition and then lightly lightly blend it just just being a little more precise with my application 
and keeping it a little further back too. So earlier I was like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. and now I'm just gonna be a little more precise. But I think it can be so pretty to layer a few different bronzer shades. That's also one of the reasons I kind of like face palettes because you can kind of customize and make your own. But I definitely think using more than one bronzer shade can be fun. So see, it's a very subtle difference, but it just, just adds a little extra dimension over here. So I'm just going to do this side as well. And then I'm going to fill in my brows and I'll be back because I want to play with this ColourPop Legend of Cora palette. Actually, let me go ahead and pop up swatches now so you can see how this palette swatches out. It's super duper pretty and I already have a tutorial using this palette. I did a blue look and I posted that as a short. So definitely check that out if you want to see another look. But today I want to use the palette and I also want to use these liquid multi-chromes. Let me also pop up a swatch now of these four liquid multi-chromes and the two liquid liners. I did my best to capture the shifts. I definitely think some of these shift stronger than others. So hopefully you're able to kind of tell in the swatches which ones are a little stronger, you know, but... I have not used these on the eyes yet, so I definitely want to use them on the eyes and see how impactful they are, and then it will help me know, like, how long they were, too. Like, do they crease? Do they fade? How do they look? So, we're definitely going to do that today. So, let me fill in my brows. I'm going to zoom y'all in even closer, and we will do eyes. Okay, so I'm thinking I want to do something kind of green today, like green leaning. Green is going to be our starting point. So we're going to start with earth bending, this deep dark shade here. But I'm going to grab my blinged brush and I'm going to pick up some of my MAC paint pot in the shade Lay in Low. And I'm going to pop that on the lid first to... Get everything ready for shadow. Okay, so I've got my singe brushes. These are a new independently owned brand created by, funded by, Aniela Kanikvis. I don't know all the terms, you know, like she's been working so hard on this. So I want to grab the E04 and I'm going straight into that deep green. And I really want to press this right in the socket of my eye because I want this green to be pigmented. I want it to be there. So I'm just pressing this all in the socket. I'm not worried about blending it too much. I'm just gonna go back and forth a little bit, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Right now, I'm just focusing on getting that pigment down. Okay, then what I want to do is I want to grab the E03 and I want to go into Mover Star. Mo Mover Star. Mover Star. I've never seen this show or maybe it's a movie. I think it's a series. So please forgive me if I don't get the references, but I want to go in with this shade. All right, so I'm picking that up. Did I say this is the E03? I'm just going to get a light amount of it. I'm tapping my brush on my mirror. And I'm going to buff out that deeper green shade so that we have a nice fade from deep green to this lighter green. And then up and out. Up and out like this. Oh, I just love green. It's my absolute favorite color. I think it looks so beautiful. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of slowly slowly buff and blend these two shades okay for the lid shade i want to use the liquid multi-chrome earth so this one looks like it shifts like a green then maybe like a pink you you saw the swatches you saw the swatches so i've got this and then if i need to i will kind of blend with the e01 from singe beauty i probably will to make this look blended and all, but I'm gonna put this down. And I did swatch this before 
filming because I wanted to kind of know like the texture and the shift and this one did seem like it was kind of on the thin side so I'm thinking what I'll do is just kind of lay it down and I'm going to kind of put this like up high bringing it in and I think I'm going to keep looking down I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to go in with a second layer to see if I can get it to be a little more opaque because it looks okay now but it does look a little sheer so I want to let it dry and I want to build it up okay so I let this dry for about two minutes so let's see if we can add another layer because I want this to just be a little more opaque so I'm gonna build it up and that is layering really well. And now that's looking, looking not, um, I don't, I don't want to say patchy because I don't, I know that sounds like awful, but it's, you know, it's more opaque now. So I'm going to try to press it in with my singe brush. I'm actually going to see if I can put some directly onto the brush and we'll see how that goes as well. So I just, put some on you can see like that and I'm going to kind of press it on and then where I want it faded I'm just going to blend it a little bit to go back with the original brush make sure I have a nice blend there and I'm going to keep looking down for probably another two minutes I want to make sure I let this dry well don't have any creasing, anything like that. So I'm just going to fan myself and let this set for a minute. Okay, I'm pulling up the mirror so that maybe you can see if you see any shift in the multi-chrome. I think this one has a very, very subtle shift. And then here in the mirror as well, you can see it's super duper subtle. But I'm just keeping my eyes looking down. Again, I want to make sure I let that liquid shadow dry. So I wanted to let you see in the mirror. Okay, so these are the multi-chromes. I'm interested to see how they hold up. They feel a little thick on the eyes. But again, I do have like two layers on. So um, I definitely had to do that to make them like fully opaque like I enjoy so I'll definitely keep y'all updated on these you know I want to wear them all everything like that but for the lower lash line I'm going to go in with this gray with the shimmer to it it's like the matte with the shimmer formula so I'm going to grab my little E05 from Singe I'm going to tap off any excess and I'm just going to put this on the lower lash line I don't think I'm going to use the liners that came in this collection today uh because there's like a light blue one and then a red brown one so i'm just going to sweep that on the lower lash line like this and then i'm gonna go into that light green shade called endgame and i'm gonna pop that whoops i'm dro dropping stuff but i want to pop that right on the inner corner so this shade right here endgame is going on the inner corner. Now, for my lower waterline, I'm gonna do this Kaleidos liner. This is a multi-chrome. This is in the shade Solaris. If you've been at my channel for a while, you know I love these. And this one is like a red green shift. So I thought it would be really pretty to kind of contrast right here in the lower like waterline I thought that would be super fun these were a favorite of the year for me last year I think they're so good but I also bought a Urban Decay 24 7 liquid liner so these have this cool shape I bought a couple of shades but we're gonna do black today one of the bristles is already bent that's kind of upsetting but let's see this is a brush tip and this this liquid shadow is a little textured so I'm not getting a fine line or maybe it is the eyeliner no there the eyeliner is working beautifully 
beautifully right there on the inner corner. So let's see how it does out here on top of the shadow. Okay, I think it's just not doing the best over that liquid shadow. But okay, we're gonna do something like that. Definitely do something like that. Very black, very pigmented, and it let me get a very sharp inner corner. So I do like that. Let's see. And then I have a new mascara from Lottie London. This is the Super Fake False Lash Effect Mascara. So the wand looks like this. I'm going to put the mascara on and then I will come back and you can kind of see what effect it gives. It's a very thin wand. I've only used it once before. But yeah, let me do, let me finish this out with what I did over here. I kind of got to roll in and talk in and wasn't going back and forth between my eyes. So I'll put on the mascara and then I'll come right back to show you. Okay, so here is what the mascara looks like. I think it's pretty. I'm going to keep testing it and trying it. But I also wanted you to see how the shadows are doing. I definitely... I wouldn't say it's creasing, but it's definitely emphasizing, like, lines and texture, I think. I'm not obsessed. Let me see if I can show you again in the mirror the shift. You can see it a little bit there. But, okay, I am going to put on these lashes from Kiss. These are the Muses collection. This style is no Nobleness. Nobleless. I'm going to put these on, but I have to say so far, where did I put it? I am really enjoying this palette. I think this is the winner of the collection so far for me. The shades are just really pretty. I like how you have warm tones and cool tones all in one palette. I do think the shadows from this palette that I used are super duper pretty. Just a little unsure about the multi-chromes, but again, of course, I'm going to keep testing those. But let me throw on these Kiss lashes, and I will be right back. Okay, the lashes are on. I'm loving these. They're a lot shorter than I normally wear for lashes, but I think they look really, really cute, really pretty. I'm loving the green, and I'm loving my bright like red to green multi-chrome in the waterline. Lots of fun. I want to use these new lip glosses from Half Magic. So Half Magic sent me these too. These are part of their new like nude collection. So I have Frosty and Magic Brownie and I'm not sure. We'll see what gloss we want to go with. But I actually placed a pretty big order from Half Magic when they first launched. And I've been loving the lip products that I bought. So I'm going to start with these two today. These, I do have a video from when I initially bought Half Magic and tried it. So if you want to see that full video, you can. But this is the Sculptitude 2-in-1 Lip Liner. I was trying to find the shade so I could tell y'all. But I think this is the dual ended shade. So I have needs and I'll pray for you. So I'm going to use I'll pray for you as the liner. And then I bought the Mouth Cloud in Magic Brownie. So it's like a whipped moussey liquid lipstick. Again, these two are not new products to me. But I thought they would be pretty with the gloss. Isn't that a pretty shade of a lip liner? I really like it. So I'm just going to line my lips okay here are those two lip products let's add the magic brownie gloss so the lipstick was called magic brownie and now this gloss this sparkle oh, this is pretty you can definitely see here the sparkle so gorgeous okay let's see how it looks on the lips i like that the applicator has a nice pointed tip because that's going to make it easy to like gloss up the cupids though really pretty oh i like that it has so much sparkle i love a good sparkly gloss i really do okay loving 
loving, loving, loving this gloss. So glad Half Magic sent that to me because I definitely would have bought it if not. That's gorgeous. But let's add some blush. I need some blush. So I'm going to use this one. ColourPop sent me the Sassy Pants Pressed Powder Blush. It looks like this pretty mauve tone. I'm going to grab my Sigma Christian Dominique Angled Cheek Brush. And we'll kind of add a little bit of blush to the cheeks. Yeah, that looks beautiful. I really like this blush with this lip and this eye look. But I want to use the Legend of Cora Spirit Wild Super Shock Highlighter. I also used this in the short tutorial that I told y'all I posted. Now, if you just rub your finger in here, it is going to swatch kind of uh on the deeper side which i think is going to be beautiful for a lot of deeper skin tones but i've just been kind of like tapping randomly in when i've been using this and using a more fluffy brush and i think it will really work for everyone this way because you can just get a little bit of it picked up you're not like doing more of a heavy swatch. I'm not using a brush that's super dense. Although if you have deeper skin, I think you could definitely do that. But this is how I've been using it. And I really like that. Just putting a little on the cheekbones. And then, oh, that's pretty. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling this makeup look. I'm really feeling this makeup look. I'm going to spray my face with my Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Matte Setting Spray. Okay, here is our finished look. I think we definitely had some hits. I mean, I am kind of shocked that I'm liking this foundation so much. I'm, I'm kind of shocked. Uh, but of course I'm going to follow up a review soon. My hair, it just, listen, I need to wash it, but that's not happening today. That's not happening today. It's getting out of control, frizzy. It is what it is. It's okay. The lip gloss, beautiful. Cheek products, I'm really into. The shadow palette, really into, but I'm kind of feeling like right now at this moment, this particular liquid multi-chrome is a miss for me. It feels... When I put one layer on, it was not opaque. It wasn't just sheer. It was a little patchy. Like, it wasn't my favorite. And then I can just kind of feel the texture on my lid. It feels a little heavy, but I will keep playing with them. I'm going to test and try them more and more before I come back for my final review. But, yeah, today I think we have some hits and misses for sure. But overall, I'm feeling great. I'm going to be wearing this. I've got lots of things. Literally, I'm going to stop recording and head out the door. I hope you are having an amazing day. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see me follow up on all of these products and if you want to stay up to date on all of my content. But thank you again for watching, and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.